So in that last one, we create an app and then we added models to kind of map data in the way we want it to be. So in this one, we are gonna actually add this data into the admin. But before we do that, I did wanna show you the different fields or at least the model field reference so you know about all the different field types that are available to you. So if you go into djangoproject.com slash one in slash 1.9 ref models fields, you will come here. You could also just Google um, Django model model fields. This will probably take you to this as well. Um, so ignoring the model field reference, the field options, we're gonna skip that for a second and just go down to field types. And we see several different types of fields. So char field is the one we just did. And notice that it says max length equals to none. So if you see anything being passed in here, aside from options, um, that is a required field. So it will always raise an error for it, but it will also tell you what needs to be there um, as far as Django is concerned. In our case, we did the max length and we said how long it has to be according to Django's validation. So it provides some validation for us. Um, we can do a comma separated integer field, date field, we did a date time field, which is not much different than date field. And we talked about auto now uh, on both of them. This provides defaults, so they are required, but they provide default values, so we don't actually need to change them. Decimal field, so there's a lot of different fields that you can use here. Um, so definitely check out that. Of course, a lot of our other projects go into more depth on each one of these fields or some of these fields. Um, and then in this one, we'll come back to using some of these fields as well, um, especially when it comes to publish date and stuff like that. But anyways, in this one, we wanna actually bring this model into our admin. So I'm gonna open up admin.py and I wanna import this model. So in order for me to work with any of these models, I have to import them. And where it actually lives on the project is in post. So if I did from post.models, import post, notice the capitalization and all that. So post.models is gonna be posts.models and then the name of the class. But since admin and models are on inside of the same module, I can just do from dot models. So they're inside the same app, so I can do what's called a relative import to actually grab them. So this grabs that post model, and all I need to do is admin.site.register and post. Make sure this is a lowercase r. Um, so this is a built-in admin function that registers the post model into our admin site. So since we just did that, let's check out what that does. If we run the server again, and we go into our projects admin, we now see that, that we have posts down here. Notice the post app, and then the post model. So if I click on this, I can actually now add a post into the database. All right, so click on add post. I can give it a title, say title, and some content. And I can hit save and continue editing. Post title is added. We can edit again. And if I try to make this too long, I'm just copying and pasting a ton of titles. Hit save and continue. Looks like it did it that time. So I'm just, I just want it to be over 120 characters. Eventually it's gonna stop. Might not even allow it. Yeah, so it's not even gonna allow you type further than 120. So like I'm trying to type further than 120 and it's not letting me do it. Um, so it does stop at some point. Um, so that's a way that the Django admin already built in. But as we see here, we already are writing posts. So I can just hit save and add another and I'll say post two. This is post two, hit save. And I have a list now of the different posts that are available. I can also delete these. And yes, I'm sure. And this is actually showing me how this is gonna work uh, as far as the database is concerned. I'm actually saving stuff in the database. So title and then title two, you know, whatever you wanna call it. Um, this is how it's working. Now we did talk about the Unicode data and that is jumping back into our models. This stuff right here is how this is coming through. So if I didn't have that, let's just comment those things out. Probably would raise an error, but let's see if it doesn't. And I'll see post object, right? So it doesn't actually raise an error. Uh, it just says post object. So if we want the Unicode to be explicit, we put the Unicode data there. It also might raise errors if we don't um, do that. So 
putting it there is probably a good idea. Um, long term, you definitely want to put it there. But as far as showing you what it would be like without it, that's what it was. Cool. Um, so now we might think about, well, what if we wanted to do some customizing to this admin? Um, well, that's something we'll do in the next one. From here on out, we're actually going to try and make it a little bit more bite-sized, just little things that we do um, just so you can learn any, any individual piece. And then the lectures are a lot shorter, so you can just get something new. All right, so if you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.